Greetings, my subscribers, as well as my new subscribers. Thank you all for coming. Now, for today on the menu, I'm going to prepare oven roast chicken with roast plantain and plain rice. You just heard correctly. Oven roast chicken with roast plantain and plain rice. Now, guys, this demonstration is worthwhile watching. I don't want to miss it, so stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Thanks for tuning in. Now here I have approximately one and a half pound of chicken put in the container here, right? How oh, I know that this is one and a half pound because as I said before, I have a scale that I use to weigh things, you know what I mean? So I took out two and a half pound of chicken from the fridge, you know what I mean? So there are one, one leg, two hip and one wing with one big breast. With the breast now, what I did was to cut the breast in two because it's big. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to do some oven roast chicken. So roasting first. I'm gonna get some blended seal. Now this season is my blended season that I did. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use approximately two spoons. That's two spoon of blended jerk season. Alright. And uh, that's two spoon of blended jerk season. And um, I'm gonna go in now with my dash. See my dash. Now we have a different kind of now. But this one is the garlic and herb. You know what I mean? And guys, it is raining here on the island, trust me. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead now and add some dash seal. Alright, next I'm gonna go ahead and add some maggi. Season up our purple season. You now guys, this season here, you now you may probably hear me talk about it more than one occasion, right? But believe you me, when I use my dash season, a lot of my maggi our purple season, Believe you me guys, I don't need nothing more. I don't need no other seasonings. These two seasonings make the perfect, and I repeat myself, the perfect combination. Both of them, you know what I mean? Furthermore, I like me, you know, I have to watch my health, you know what I mean? Because you know, when I get older, you have to be careful on the season that you choose to season your meat with, right? So I'm just going to use some maggot for season, all right? Now bear in mind my guys, my meat was already cleaned up and washed with lime juice and vinegar. Because remember that you know, you say meat carries bacteria, you know what I mean? So you want to reduce the level of bacteria within your meat. No, it won't kill all the bacteria, it will level the bacteria within your meat, you know what I mean? So you just want to make sure that you go ahead and wash with lime juice and vinegar. Right now, lime juice and vinegar makes a perfect combination. Whenever washing any meat, any meat whatsoever, any meat, chicken, it could be chicken, it could be fish, it could be beef, it could be pork, it could be cow food, it could be, you know, um, listen, it could be any kind of meat. Let me just make it clear. It could be any kind of meat. You know what I mean? Lamb juice and vinegar makes a perfect combination. Take it from me. You know what I mean? Now I've seen a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people doing the same thing and I'm telling you it's a good thing, it's a good look. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go in now with my hands. Now my hands were washed already, right? So don't see my hands are dirty, my hands were washed already. So I'm just gonna go in now and rub up the seasoning, you know what I mean? The, the blended drink season. 
put the chicken and the dry season, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I make this properly marinate, you know. You feel me? Yeah, man, for real. Properly marinate. It has to be. And I'm using a big bowl. Why I'm using a big bowl? Because when you know, use a big bowl, you have more control, right? On what you're doing. Because if we can make a small bowl, then you can't probably do this. You can't stir up the way you want to stir up it. But when you have a, a big bowl, you can pull the chicken and flip it over and stir it all you want to stir it, you know what I mean? But with a small bowl, you can't do that. You have to be watching what you're doing because the chicken may eventually jump out the container. Now when when it's a jump out, I don't mean it's going to be alive. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, fuck where the chicken, right, when it go like this, you know what I mean? It may eventually jump out. So your hand is going to bounce it out, so that's why I said jump out. I don't mean like a chicken is going to be alive and jump out, you know what I mean? No, 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 You don't get it twisted, all right? All right, so there it is. All right, you will notice, guys. Just look on how the chicken is coated, right? Mm-hmm. Now, this is for me. I don't know how much I think with it, me. I must say before, my mother, he's one who who's responsible for my cooking you know she's the one who, who she's the one who curved me and i said come come learn how to cook because i'm not gonna allow no man to take this advantage of you you know what i mean so i said okay you know what i mean and ever since guys i've been doing my own thing you know what i mean for real because my mother knows best you know what i mean so that's why you know i'm here doing my thing so when I simply do my thing, you know, it's really it's it's basically what my mother teaches me. You know what I mean? So that's just a thing, you know what I mean? Alright, so I'm gonna taste it now. I just using this hand to, you know, take a little let's take a little right here. Alright, now this tastes alright, let me just wrap my finger off. my finger so my tongue touch my finger so I have to wash my finger off you know what I mean all right so there you have it now the chicken is all properly seasoned so I'm gonna allow the chicken to marinate right I'm say soak we do make a say soak you know other other folks say marinate but it doesn't really matter you know I guess what it's the same thing we are talking about the same thing. Marinate our soap. The same thing. So I'm just gonna scrape down some of the seasoning and rub it on the chicken. You know what I mean? What's around the side of the, the, um, the bowl? Scrape it in there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna get my cover and cover it. this one here right but before I do so I'm going to grease it so just keep on tuning in you know what I mean and you will see and how I get to be done here in the kitchen now the baking pan is no grease as you can see is it blowing it goes to show that the baking pan is no grease so what I'm gonna do is to place the chicken them within the uh, Oh, no, no. I'm 
made and it's still working. Very effective. You know what I mean? Some well know um the chickens have been you know what I mean in the pan here. Right, so that's cook some whip right here. Next I'm going to put the, the breast, right? Because apparently it was a big breast, so what I had to do was to cut the big breast into two. You know what I mean? And then we have one leg and one wing. So that will be enough for dinner. You know what I mean? For this evening. You know, not all the while I want to um, do fried chicken or, you know, ground school chicken. Or, you know what I mean? I just want to something different for a change. So I'm just doing some oven roast chicken in my register oven. Alright, so I'm going to now catch up the water within this bowl here and I'm going to shake it around and then pour it on the chicken. Nothing goes to waste. Nothing goes to waste. Alright, so I'm going to pour it in now. now I'm not going to pour it exactly like chicken. Why? Because I don't want to wash up the season. So what I do, I pour it within the container. I'll pour it to the side, you know what I mean, like, so, so I don't like to, I don't really like to put it in the chicken, because when I put it in the chicken, if you wash out the seed, I don't want that, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. so I try to apply that wrong again, alright, now I'm going to open the oven door, like so, wow, it's heat, man, the heat up for real, Alright, so I'm going to slide it in. Let's take your one time and slide it in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't rush it. Don't, 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 don't force it in. Let's take your one time and slide it in. And close the door like so. Alright. Now I'm going to allow the chicken to roast and eat side evenly. Right? So as soon as it reaches a certain dimension, I'm going to flip them over. And that's just how I make it, you know what I mean? Because I don't want it to be at only one side where one side is looking, um, you know, brown and the other side is white. No. What I now want to do is, is to allow it to brown on one side and I flip it on the next side so the next side can get some color too. You know what I mean? That's just how it goes. So if I notice, I put it on a lower, the lower and there's that is um there's a thing here on the side that goes down where you can put your tray on right the thing is the heat is at the top and the bottom but the heat at the bottom is much lower than the top so i'm gonna put a lower down, down here that means that the heat won't be too intensive on the chicken because if we put the chicken up here for instance up here right what's gonna happen is that the heat is so close you have burning chicken before time so i put it down here it's much better, you know what I mean? And the same thing goes for cake. Or uh, whatever you're gonna do too, you know what I mean? So the chicken is down here where it's much lower. If you eat a penetrate the same way, but it won't be too severe, right? And uh just allow it to go on this one time and um allow the heat penetrate, you know what I mean? So that's just how it is. For real. So let's keep on tuning, alright? You don't know anything already in the yeah? Now guys, if you notice that the, the chicken has started to change color, you know what I mean, but I'm not going to change them, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flip them over as yet, you know what I mean, the shade needs to be a little bit more darker than this, you know what I mean, so I'm gonna allow it to continue remaining on this side until it which is the shader that I'm looking for then I'm gonna go ahead and take out the tray then flip the chickens over on the next side alright so let's keep on tuning alright guys so it's now reached a point where I'm going to uh, take the chickens out and I'm gonna take the tray out and then flip the chickens and so I'm gonna take the tray out and flip the chicken now what I did was I put a piece of well I put a, a put one plant in, in here because right, I'm gonna have some uh, rose planting in the, in, the, in the meanwhile. Right, so I'm gonna take the tray out like so. Then close the door. Let's keep the heat inside here still. Then I'm gonna press the chicken right here. And then I'm gonna get my fork. So get to the 
back and then I'm going to go flip the chickens on the other side. Right? Like so. Like, and you know, I've said before, but like, when I'm doing my roast chicken, I like to start with my chicken. I have to turn on the other side because I like when both sides are brown, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm just, you know, turning the chicken on the other side. Like so. Flip them over. Flip them on the next side so they can be coated, you know. They like dark shaders um, on the other side, you know what I mean? So, we just uh, turn this around. Alright, so there they are now, guys. So, they are now flipped over. What I'm going to do now is to use my hand dry here. Because this thing is really hot, you know. Open the door. Then I'm going to slide the chicken. It's the tray right back in the same slot that it was in. Like so. I love it to come to the roast, alright? So get the plant right there on top of the tray. And there's two tray, one that has the chicken in it, and one that has the plant on top. Alright? So let's keep on tuning, alright? Alright, so I'm going to chicken the chicken again. Alright? I'm gonna put on the tray out. Like so. Then I'm gonna close the door. Like so, I mean, so I'm going to pour me now some of the, the broth from the chicken into the sauce pot here, right? So you may be wondering what am I going to do with it, but I'm going to show you, right? So just keep on tuning in and you will see what I'm doing, right? Now uh, what I'm going to do with the breath that I uh, threw out the chicken. Alright, right, so while the chicken is roasting in the oven, I'm gonna make my sauce, alright? Now, the broth, the broth from the, uh, the chicken in the oven, right here in the pot. Now, this is what I'm gonna use, alright? First comment, I'm going to add a little soy sauce, right? Now, do you know the reason why I use soy sauce? Do you know what the reason why I use a little soy sauce, right? Now, most of you probably don't know, but I'm going to tell you. You know, I don't like when my arm sauce is ready. You know what I mean? So what I like to do is just to, to use a little soy sauce to give it a darker shade. Not too dark, you know. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to pour some water in my ketchup bottle, right? Because the thing is, this ketchup is finished, right? So I did pour some water in it. I'm just going to shake it. I'm going to shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, and this is just the ketchup, uh, the ketchup that is in the bag, you know what I mean, so shake it myself, you know what I mean, alright, so I'm going to now pour in the ketchup within this sauce pot, right, you paying attention, because you all, I know you all are wondering, when I say stick this sauce, what do we use, you know, so I'm demonstrating what I'm doing. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to probably change you that. Mm. All right. All right. So what we do now is to cover the sauce pot and allow the gravy to come to a boil and start sinking the garlic boil. All right. So let's keep on shooting. All right. The don't know you already know. Yeah. Happy happening that one right here in my kitchen, guys. So let's keep on tuning. Alright, so um, the water's not boiling in the pot, so I'm gonna take the cover off like so. Right? And I'm going to now focus on the sun, right? Thank you. 
press it on the top top part. Top. All right, take this out. Press it on the top. Then I'm gonna put the chicken. Now here is my secret sauce. Now this sauce 
was made, was made from the grass of a chicken. That was in the home. You know what I mean? But I had my rest of season to it. You know what I mean? Guys, it's always been a pleasure to share with you when I've appeared in my kitchen. So please remember to thumbs up the video, leave a valuable comment, share me out, subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell and allow it to be an hour that way you'll be the first person to be notified when I drop a new video. Thank you for watching. Alright, so here is my oven roast chicken with plain rice and roast plantain. I mean, no, this is what I prepared for my dinner. You understand me? So there you have it. That's a piece of breast with one drumstick and some roast planted with some steamed rice. See that? Check it.